Clear off the main course, because it's time for the sweet stuff with 11 questions on famous desserts. This is Trivia with Buds. All right, guys, here we go. Dessert trivia, a bunch of different things about cakes and cookies and ice cream and more. We're jumping in right now. Question number one. What pizza chain serves a dessert called Cinestics? Number one. What pizza chain serves a dessert called Cinestics? Number one. Question number two. Which delicious dessert is made from layers of jelly, sponge, fruit, custard, and cream. Number two, which delicious dessert is made from layers of jelly, sponge, fruit, custard, and cream? Question number three, what is the main flavor in a traditional tiramisu? Number three, what is the main flavor in a traditional tiramisu? Number three. Question number four, there's a Netflix show called Blanks Just Desserts. Fill in that name in the blank. Number four, there's a Netflix show called Blanks Just Desserts. Question number five for dessert trivia, what Ben and Jerry's flavor is named after a member of the Grateful Dead? Number five, what Grateful Dead member has his own Ben and Jerry's flavor? Number five. Question number six, what 80s sequel had the line, there's always room for Jell-O? Number six, what 80s sequel had the line, there's always room for Jell-O? Question number seven, what Netflix show is currently judged by Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith? Number seven, what Netflix show is currently judged by Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith? Question number eight, small deep fried balls of dough soaked in honey called strafoli come from what country? Strafoli, S-T-R-U-F-F-O-L-I, come from what country? Question number nine, what is the price of the milkshake that concerns Vincent Vega in the movie Pulp Fiction? Number nine, what is the price of a milkshake that concerns Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction? And question number 10, what chain used the slogan, we don't make it until you order it? We don't make it until you order it. What uh, food chain? I would say fast food. It's pretty much fast food. Number 10. And the bonus for two points. What is the first and last name of a celebrity known as the Cake Boss? Who is the Cake Boss? Two points if you get the first and last name of the Cake Boss. Those are all your very tasty questions about desserts and desserts trivia. We'll be right back in just a second with the scrumptious answers. Here we go, guys, back with the answers for dessert trivia. Let's see how you did on this 11-question quiz for today. Number one, what pizza chain serves a dessert called Cinestics? That would be Domino's Pizza. Number one, Domino's Pizza. I think I would have guessed Pizza Hut if I was playing, uh, but it is Domino's. Number two, which delicious dessert is made from layers of jelly, sponge, fruit, custard, and cream that is called a trifle? trifle number two rachel green on friends mistakenly puts beef in her trifle number three what is the main flavor in traditional tiramisu i would have thought it was chocolate or chocolate mousse or something but it's actually coffee number three coffee is the traditional main flavor in tiramisu number four there's a netflix show called zumbos just desserts he's a bald guy and it's kind of like a willy wonka and the chocolate factory kind of reality show Zumbo's Just Desserts. Number five, what Ben and Jerry's flavor is named after a member of the Grateful Dead? That would be called Cherry Garcia after Jerry Garcia. Cherry Garcia. Number five. Number six, what 80s sequel had the line, there's always room for more, or for Jell-O. There's always room for Jell-O. That's Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2, Bill Murray and the gang. Number seven, what Netflix show is currently judged by Paul Hollywood and Prue Leith? One of my favorite shows of all time, The Great British Bake Off or The Great British Baking Show. 
number seven. Number eight, small deep fried balls of dough soaked in honey called strafoli come from the country of Italy. Italy. Strafoli. Italy. Number nine, what is the price of the milkshake that concerns Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction? It's a $5 milkshake. He thinks that's too much money. $5. And number 10, what chain used the slogan, we don't make it until you order it? That's Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts used that slogan to sell their donuts and other things. And for two points, what is the first and last name of the cake boss? His name is Buddy Velastro. Buddy Velastro. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode. Thanks for telling a friend about the show. We have one more question for you called the question of the day. And that question is, what color shirt did Shaggy usually wear on Scooby-Doo? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Tomorrowland. And your trivia team name of the day is Spock You Like a Hurricane. Spock You Like a Hurricane. Thank you guys so much for the support every night on my Facebook live streams. We've been doing that for 11 days now. Watch me at 7 p.m. Pacific, do a different themed trivia night every single night, 7 p.m. Pacific. And uh, I have Venmo and PayPal uh, info on the screen when I do those live streams. So if you have a buck to spare, uh, you can send it my way. My Venmo is Ryan-Buds and my PayPal is RyanBuds at gmail.com. If there's a certain topic you want me to do on the show, join our Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. For $5 or more, you get to pick a topic we do every single month on the show. And uh, some people have been doing that for a couple of years now. So thank you for supporting the show on Patreon, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for the support. Thanks for helping me stay sane and giving me something to do with this show. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. Thank you.